<laughs> kind of looked like Napoleon Dynamite's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She also had the side ponytail. Yeah. Does that make me Napoleon Dynamite? Well, the other day I did comment that you were totally dancing like Napoleon Dynamite and you weren't doing that on purpose. You just looked like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> so maybe. All right. Well, on to other news. Where does this one open? <laughs> you would think that you have it All right, here out it by now. Well, one nice clean tear. No stickiness. Will you please do the honors? Malcolm and Marie. Ooh. Looks a little sexy, looks a little dramatic. Starring Zendaya, Disney star. Disney star? Yeah, Zendaya. Who's Zendaya? She got her start as a Disney Channel star. In what show? I, I couldn't tell you. I am not a, as much as I have worked for Disney Channel, I don't know what show she's from. I'm the person you grab onto and hold on to for dear fucking life. Well, that doesn't sound very Disney. That's what it says. Wow. This looks very dramatic. Black and white, too. But it did also come with a screenplay. I have not heard of this. But it looks intriguing. It almost kind of looks like a stage play, just like the set. And the... You know what I'm realizing? What? We were saying that the pretty ones come for the DGA, the, the pretty cases, and the blank cases go for the Writers Guild. But this came with the script, which means that it must be the pretty cases that go for the writers and the blank ones go for the director. Not what we thought. You're right, it's not what we thought. Also not very important information. <laughs> my phone is ringing, that's my assistant, otherwise oh. known as my sister. I'm not gonna take that call. Sorry, Tamara. Someone was telling me recently that there's a movie where it was actually a stage play, but, or, yeah, or they, what? That was a play. One Night in Miami was a play. And no, they... but this is shot very much like a movie. Right. But there's a movie out right now that actually is shot. Who was telling me about that? And it's like the entire movie just basically takes place in one set as though it's a stage play that's being filmed. Maybe that's this one. Maybe. Okay. Let's find out what the story is about. Stop. Are you going to play Zendaya? That's a major monologue. Whoa. All right. <laughs> It's all me. All right. Why you guys... do you get to be Malcolm? All right, you be Malcolm. I don't know. I ought to ask Marie. Maybe Marie knows the answer. Where's Marie? I need Marie. That's a cut. Marie, where are you? Did you see that performance? What do you think? You liked it? Same here. God forbid I'm secure enough in my opinion that I don't need you. That's what this whole thing is about. Your whole fucking speech about self-doubt. You just need a reason to be needed. Because if you're not, if I don't need you, well then, why am I with you, Marie? Whoa. A long beat. Isn't that what this is you about? You take a long beat. Control? You want control. Because you can't imagine that the reason I'm with you is because I love you. I love you. I don't need you, I just love you. She starts to cry. That there is someone on this fucking planet who just loves you. Loves your broken, disturbed, junky fucking ass enough that I willingly want to be with you. Want to love you. Want your opinion, not because I need it, but because I'm curious. Because I like the way your brain works. Because I want to know how you see the world, what you think. That I value you, your opinion, your love, your instincts. And I'm grateful because everything you've been through made you, you, the woman I love, the woman I give a fuck about, the woman I'm fighting with at two in the fucking morning on the best night of my life because she's relentless and fucking crazy. And I'm sorry, I fucked up. I apologized a thousand times, but really, since the second we got home, all I wanted to do is celebrate with you. Marie, my girl, that's all. You want to know the part of Imani that's based on you? The end. The part that makes it a fucking tragedy. 
the part where she loathes herself so much because of all the shame and guilt that she can't let the good in, that's the part that's based on you. Her inability to fathom that someone in this world loves her, despite the fact that she doesn't love herself. That's you. That's the part that isn't fiction. Right. And see. And that was a monologue cold read. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty good. Well, that's Malcolm and Marie. We'll let you know how it is. Adios.